morning. Steve here, and um, this morning is going to be somewhat of a meditative time. Um, I did, uh, I looked at the Maya calendar for today, and um, and I'll, I also was very aware of the, what I would say, the chaotic energies of the world um, that I experienced in the dream world. It seemed to me that the world is um, very full of the big three emotions. So during times of change, where change is taking place, and uh, sometimes the reason we got into habitual rituals of behavior had to do from fear of kind of the natural world. And so as kind of the world we're in appears to be breaking down, fear is rising. Um, also, the under the underneath powers, the powers that are underneath fear, um, the creativity that's underneath fear, the just earth power, the ability to take action, which is underneath anger. And the ability to let go, which is underneath grief. And everything today, you're going to find is going to point back to the heart. And so I'm going to start off with um, reading the words in the Mayan calendar relating to today being a yellow warrior day. And the yellow warrior, the three words associated with the yellow warrior are questions, intelligence, and fearlessness. And there's a quote by Chengyang Trungpa, a Rinpoche, so a Buddhist, a Buddhist monk, I believe, the Rinpoche. And he said, fearless is not a reduction of fears, but rather the capacity to go beyond fear. Going beyond fear begins when we examine our fear. And in the Shambhala tradition, discovering fearlessness comes from working with the softness of the human heart. The spirit of the yellow warrior invites us to access divine guidance, circulate fresh analysis of our convictions to assure they represent our truths, confront uncharted terrain, Exercise keen awareness. Embrace challenge by recognizing it as the ever-present gift of growth. Understand obstacles as opportunities to strengthen ourselves. Apply mindfulness, precision, and will. Question all appearances, reference points, and information to gain deeper insight and intelligence. Question and confront fears in order to release their hold and transcend them. Apply one-pointed one -pointed focus and determination in cautiously proceeding towards goals while remaining unweighted by expectations. 
A warrior's strength is how she responds. How will you channel the power of the yellow warrior? You are an agent of cosmic forces. Be at home in the cosmic question mark. Integrate the three forces of mind, will, and spirit to pick up the staff of galactic empowerment. Okay, that's our gift from the um, from the ancient Mayan tradition. And there were three cards that were. Um, were gifted to us and the first card is the um, world card so what is it that what is our gift from from our world and so we got the ace of cups and the ace of cups is the open heart, the clear heart, the trusting heart, the spiritual heart. So that's our gift. This is the Holy Grail sitting within the emotional nature, which is, is represented by the blue cup. It's the state of emotional integrity, which is represented by the double reflected rainbow, the capacity to express accurately feelings that are being experienced internally. The rainbow represents a reflection of emotional feelings from such a base of integrity that there's no dichotomy between what's being experienced inside and what's being reflected outside. The Ace of Cups symbolizes emotional balance required to nurture, comfort, support, and heal oneself in equal proportion to how one would nurture, support, comfort, and heal others. The quality represented by the ray of light coming into the cup is the capacity to nurture oneself in equal proportion to what one gives out. This is love with wisdom. Love is represented by the cup, the heart, and wisdom by the blue grail. Love that is constantly regenerating itself, symbol by the symbolized by the handles of the cup, which are coiled, regenerated snakes. Trusting heart. Doesn't push or use effort to make things happen. Trusting heart does not resist or protect itself or hold back. Love with wisdom is the capacity to trust without overextending oneself emotionally or overprotecting oneself emotionally, which is represented by the organic unfoldment of the lotus blossom. So basically, this is a time to come from our heart come out of our head, come from our heart, and come from a place of love. We also got the Queen of Wands to remind us that we're in a time of incredible transformation. <clears throat> we also got the seven of uh, the uh, major arcana seven, which is the chariot, to remind us that we carry strengths developed through our life that we can apply to the choices we make during times of change. And we got the universe card, 
letting us know that we're being held by the higher consciousness and that we're connected to the universe and we can rely on the higher spiritual beings who are here to support us, who are in a physical reality, allowing the whole world to change around us. We are yellow warriors and we have accepted a very large, very large task. And we carry powers that will be opening up throughout this period of time. I want to just remind myself and others that we have a tremendous amount of support from the universe and these changes that are taking place are universal changes that we're experiencing as individuals. Okay, I hear the vacuum coming on and so that lets me know it that now must go. <laughs> 